What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. Female TikToker says someone had to say it. Someone did have to say it, and it came from this female. In this clip, she talks about the way you guys dress and present yourselves in the trucking industry, in this male-dominated trucking industry industry no more wasting time let's get it hold on y'all gonna be mad at me well what i gotta say but i'm talking to my female church i was right now i ain't talking to nobody else but my female church it saddens me when i see y'all on tiktok or when i actually see y'all out here in the truck stop with half your ass out and no clothes on it saddens me because it's like what attention are you trying to get why are you seeking attention you, 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 y'all talk about these dudes out here being thirsty, but when you dress like that among, in a male dominant industry, what that say about you? Let's be real, what that say about you? It's cool to dress cute, but when you dressing like you about to go walk the goddamn boulevard and you getting in this damn truck and you getting behind the, that's not cute. I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. It's not cute. I understand you got your BBL, you got all of that shit done. And I ain't knocking, but put some clothes on. Everybody don't gotta see it. Everybody don't gotta see it. And then y'all wonder why we get targeted as females in this male dominant industry so much. Y'all wonder why. Y'all wonder why we get kidnapped. Y'all wonder why. Y'all think that these look out there seatbelt? Grab your seatbelt and loop it in through here. Then connect it. Then pull it. To tighten it, lock the door. Now, if anyone tries to open the door, no one can. Around the fucking goddamn door, gonna goddamn stop a person from getting up in your truck. No, it's not. It's not. It's not gonna stop nobody from following you. Any? Then y'all wonder why y'all get kidnapped. Y'all wonder why y'all get kidnapped. Y'all wonder why y'all get raped. Everything in, in between. And I'm just being real. If you act like a lady in the streets, you get treated like a lady in the streets. But you dress like a hoe and you act like a hoe in the streets, that's what you're going to get treated like. And it's just simple. It's that fucking simple. Stop being like these niggas going out here seeking attention. Because that's what y'all doing. Y'all being thirsty. But there you have it, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Drivers, drivers, is she right? Because I... <laughs> I kind of been saying this for years, <laughs> you know, the, the females of TikTok, YouTube, you know, hey, do what you do, because what I'm going to do is watch. I'm going to watch you. I want to watch you. If you want to come on here dressing all skimpy and scantless and all like that while you're out here doing your work in trucking. Yes, I'm going to watch. But just know, just know that there are other guys are watching too. You got to understand these guys out here that's watching, you know, sometimes they don't have they all they don't have their marbles straight. But I'm just saying some marbles just not racked up in a row and you're going to end up with guys giving you unwanted attention. But unfortunately, you want to walk in the you you want to walk in the truck stop like a 304. You want to turn the truck stop into Magic City. And then once you do all that and you start getting that unwanted attention, you get mad. You get mad and you wonder why. Oh, man, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want you to walk up on me. I don't want you to do this. But you you, you presenting the package of the 304. This clip right here, this male driver simply saying, stop being a 304. Hold on. This for the old truck drivers. The female truck drivers out here, black sisters out here driving a truck. First of all, I applaud y'all for doing this shit because it ain't an easy job, believe me. But what I want to touch on with y'all is I see a lot of y'all taking pictures in your underwears and your panties and shit in, inside your truck and getting on TikTok. I guess you want to be famous or some shit like that. But you don't know that you got a million thirsty motherfuckers looking at your picture. 
some of these motherfuckers driving these trucks been to the joint for rape and pedophiles. And you on TikTok showing all your goods. Then when a the motherfucker see you in the truck stop and speak to you, you want to act like, God damn it, a motherfucker trying to holler at you. Bitch, ain't nobody trying to holler at your ass. Motherfucker got places to go and and things to do. But you going to quit playing, putting all that shit up on TikTok? Y'all might not be paying attention, but they finding chicks dead in a motherfucking truck. And the reason why is because you're getting your thirsty ass on here Want some fucking attention. Shaking your ass in the truck. Got your curtains pulled and all that. Like a motherfucker ain't going to see you. When you hashtag trucker's life or, or all that FYP, all that shit, everybody sees this shit. And you out here with no class just to shake your ass. And you got all these different type of motherfuckers out here. And a motherfucker will break in your fucking truck while you sleep and rape and kill your ass. Y'all better wake up. What you got is sacred. Keep it sacred. If you trying to date somebody on now, send them a message. All that like for like shit. Or get you dead than a motherfucker. Instead of presenting the professional truck driver that you are. Guys, guys, drivers, let me know what you think in the comments below, man. Am I wrong about this assessment? Is she wrong about this assessment? In this clip right here, this TikToker says, yes, we're wrong. If you want to dress like a 304, hold your head up high. Hold on. Absolutely not. We're not going to come on here and try to make grown ass adults feel ashamed of what they choose to wear and then tell them they should wear something different just to appeal to a motherfucker who refuses to practice self control. Um, also, something that I do that works great is when I'm looking at something that I'd rather not be looking at, I just look the fuck away because I have full control over that. And trust me, I've seen some shit out here I could have gone my whole life without seeing. Also, something that's really weird is um, I've been sexually assaulted a few times, and every single time I was wearing pants like jeans or khakis and a t-shirt. Um, I think one time I was wearing a tank top. But anyway, moral of the story, to the women who are out here and you feel good about yourself and you're confident and you want to wear whatever the fuck you want to wear because it makes you feel good about who you are, um, it could be a tight dress with your titties out and your booty looking fucking delicious. Whatever the fuck you're wearing, just make sure when you get out of your truck at the truck stop, uh, you strut your stuff across that lot and you hold your head high. Yeah. What do you think? I always say that go to TikTok. <laughs> go to TikTok if you want to see it all. You you want to see you want to see sassy TikTok trucker dances in the truck. Go to TikTok. You want to see him walking in the in the truck stops 304 style? Go to TikTok. You wanna you 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 want to see them fueling up there, fueling up there and showing their booties and their butt cheeks and their BLLs and BBWs and all like that? Go to TikTok. But ladies, ladies, just remember, just remember, what you put out there is what you're gonna get back. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go to, let's jump to the comments. Can't jump to the comments. The creator turned the comments off. And I can, I can easily understand why. Because like I said before, you know, the internet can be savage sometimes. Of course, she's going to get, of course, she's going to get female drivers that understands. And then of course, she's going to get female drivers that's going to be like, why you care? Why you talking about it? It's my body. I do what I want to do with it. If I want to wear a 304 outfit, I'm going to wear that 304 outfit. Lady, baby girl, go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to sit right here in my truck and enjoy the view from the front and the back. <laughs> 
from the front and the back. But you got to understand one point of the video where she said about the seatbelt. Grab your seatbelt and loop it in through here. Then connect it. Then pull it to tighten it. Lock the door. Now if anyone tries to open the door, no one can. She's exactly right because that seatbelt around the door handle ain't going to save nothing. Trust me. If a dude want to get up in that truck, he's going to get up in that truck. So, ladies, my, my things to you for, for your safety out here, just make sure y'all have something to protect yourself with. Because if you want to if you want to do the 304 thing in trucking, by all means, go ahead. But just make sure you have something to protect yourself with. Because one of these days, you are going to encounter that particular male driver that's going to feel somebody that's going to feel some kind of way when you reject his advances. I'm just saying, I'm just saying again, drivers, let me know what you think. Female drivers. Have you guys been accosted by drivers that gave you the, that gave you unwanted attention because of the way you dress or the way you present yourself? Talk to me in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this segment of Breaking Truckers on the Lockout Man Podcast Show.